Man, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. We got a bunch of boxes here. We got to get opened up. Every single bit of this stuff is all things for the Civic. So, and yeah, for the most part, it's all stuff that we absolutely need to get this car done. And I want to start off by saying most certainly thank you to all you guys for your support, man. That, and I, I mean that genuinely from my heart because every single bit of the stuff that I have sitting here, and I have more stuff on the way as well. Um, it's all stuff that the car needs, like I said. And all of this has come from the money that has come to the channel through you guys buying merch. The shirts, the stickers, all that stuff. It's your guys' support is the reason why I'm able to even get these kind of things. You know what I'm saying? So most certainly shout out to you guys. This this video is basically sponsored by you, by the DB fam, man. I just I want you guys to know that because it means a lot to me and I want to be as far as I am right now without you guys, you know what I'm saying? It's dark out right now, if you guys didn't notice that. I am going to be cracking into all these packages whenever we get back, because right now I'm gonna take off and we're gonna head over to my cousin's house, man. I don't know if you remember in the last video I mentioned to you that he does uh, vehicle wraps, so if you guys wanna get your car wrapped, most certainly hit him up in his DMs, you know what I'm saying? Because um, he, he worked for a rap shop before. He, he's really good at what he does. And he's trying to get his own thing going, you know what I'm saying? So right now, he is basically affordable as hell. Because he's trying to get his foot in the door. And him and his brother are going to be getting a shop here really soon. Which I think is going to be really freaking awesome. Because I'm going to be over there helping him out. But yeah, we're going to run over there. I just want to show you guys what it is he has going on right now. Because he's over there rapping in RSX and as soon as we get back uh, we'll get cracking in all these boxes so I can show you guys what all it is that we have to install on the Civic man get the garage queen back in the garage Dude, I swear since that one time I almost shut this damn door on the car I have been scared to death good we good yeah we good we good all right See you later, Skipper. You ain't going with this time. Exactly the same way. Uh, everyone I've talked to that's bought a car from Driver Motorsports right here, Drive Specialties, fucking all these places, always have a story. Every car has a story. So I'd like to change that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the secret. There's a secret sauce. You ready? I want to hear. If you want. Man, look at these guys out here. Bikes, Corvettes, hatches. Jesus. What? God damn. What up? The other side's the good side. No, I know. I'm not showing them the good side yet. Clear that side? Yeah, you're good. 
Okay. Ran out of fuel. Yeah, this thing is stressful, bro. I guarantee you everybody in the neighborhood is probably stressed out too. Is it loud though? It's loud, loud. Oh wow. It's really I mean not as loud as, as Jason's Corvette, but have you seen how loud his car is? Seen it? No. I haven't seen how loud it is. Ridiculously loud. Thank you. Ryan's like, have you seen how loud his car is? <laughs> How long has he been building this? Dude, like it's went through different stages, oh right? Yeah. He's had this car for fucking ever, dude. Fuck, since we've got into Honda's, I think. He no, he bought it back in like I think 2004, 2005. Yeah. Like he had this car way before I even knew him. He used to take it through car shows. I'll say for sure this car is definitely crazy. Um, I'll tell Colin maybe he could talk to the owner and whatever the car is done. If he's cool with it, maybe. If you guys are interested, anyway. Uh, we'll come back and maybe go over the specs of it, dude, because this is definitely a badass build. Uh, he's been building this thing for years, you know what I'm saying? Just getting a little bit better and a little bit better as, as time goes on. But it most certainly is a track car. Like, he doesn't even run this thing on the streets or in Mexico, you know what I mean? Um, he basically just, this is just track, dude. Like, he even trailered it here, you said? Mm -hmm. Though it's street legal. You know what I mean? He's got a plate, he's got insurance and everything, but he trailered it here. I think the insurance and the plate is just so he can be in the streetcar classes. Oh, <laughs> really? But dude, I mean, and I understand because this car is freaking stressful. Like, you just backing it out right now? Yeah. Like, it was stressful, dude. It was <laughs> Holy stressful crap. For me, because it's not my car. It's like, yeah, no kidding. You ain't got no mirrors on it or anything. <laughs> but, I mean, as you guys can see, he didn't remove body panels or anything, but you guys see the color that he's wrapping it. I mean, it's basically the same color as the car. So they're just trying to freshen it up, give it a clean look. A lot of clear coat failing, and you know, the car just needed to be cleaned up. But yeah, but these guys got a lot of cool stuff going on over here, man. It's crazy. This car is crazy. My cousin's car is crazy. This car is, I think, crazier, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you, uh, yeah, this car is crazy. He's, he definitely just did a whole bunch of work to this as well. It's not finished yet, so. Um, Maybe whenever he gets the vet all finished up and gets it all put back together. What's up? You actually got a vet? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Look at this Honda boy, man. That's what happens when Honda guys fucking just fuck around with other cars. Right? It's all gutted. Honda for life, son. <laughs> this is his race car, but that red EK that was right here earlier, that's his daily. So definitely a Honda guy. Anyhow, guys, I just wanted to come over here and show you what he's doing. If you're interested, and you're in the, the obviously in Arizona, Phoenix area, you know what I mean? And you guys want your cars wrapped, just hit my cousin up in the DMs on Instagram. Um, they are, I'll tell you, they're working. You guys are working on getting a shop, right? Yeah. So, Hopefully, I mean, you. they're trying to go all in, you know what I mean? And right now, um, they're just trying to get their foot in the door, and their, their, their prices are competitive, I'll say, at the least. So... Is there anything you want to add or? No. Just... But yeah, maybe whenever this car is all done, if you guys want to see it, you got to let me know in the comments down below. Whenever he gets it all done, we'll come over and just maybe go over everything and Dude. just show you how it came out. Maybe when you take your Civic to the track, we'll tell him to go too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's out at the track all the time. Last time I was at IFO, he was out there. Yeah. But he ended up having transmission problems. That's all fixed now. Yeah. I think you have a actually put dynamite in this transmission to fuck it up <laughs> really it up. but check out this freaking fuel cell man this is kind of how i'm running mine i was looking at this right now that's the reason why we had to push it back in the garage because it ran out of fuel because that tiny little cell but i mean you don't need much to get down the quarter mile i was looking at how he has this fuel pump mounted in there too it's on the frame rail i don't know this thing's badass but i'll see you guys back in the garage and just like that we are back just to let you guys know we're gonna open all this stuff up and i just want to show you guys what all it is we got for the car uh we're not gonna actually install anything today unfortunately well, tonight unfortunately because I, I mean i don't have time for that man i gotta get to work in the morning you know what i'm saying but there's a lot of really cool stuff and i'm super excited to show you guys because, I mean, I, I owe it all to you, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into this. I need to make myself a little bit of room and set, yeah, I, I need to organize a little bit. First 
package. And a couple of these things were actually sent to my P.O. box. So VTEC, oil, pressure, plug, pigtail, kit, Honda. Bam, dude. Hell yeah, who sent this out? Auto Parts Prodigy, it says. Uh, out in Tucson, Arizona. I remember somebody commenting that they sent me a VTEC clip, dude. So, um, I don't remember if that was on one of the, the videos or if it was on Facebook. But either way, thank you, brother. I most certainly appreciate it because I definitely, I mean, you already know. That's the reason why you sent it out. Definitely needed that. Oh shit! Now that's that jumper harness that we're gonna actually rob this clip off of. It's freaking not. Why? Bro, this is reversed. This is OBD2 to... Dude, I double checked and triple checked. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. This is just a simple one. It's not really a big deal, but this is clay luber. It's basically like a spray wax. And you use this with the clay bar. Uh, this is the clay bar. And that's just to get that like rough filling off the paint. The doors don't really have it too much. But mainly like the like up here on the roof. Uh, the fenders, the bumper. That front bumper definitely has like a real gritty feel to the paint. I mean just because the car has been sitting for so long. Dude it needs to be clay barred. And uh, I'm probably going to do like a ceramic coating on the car after we do some clay bar. <laughs> These were sent out to me. This was sent to my P.O. box. This is from James Smith. Uh, he hit me up on Facebook after watching the video uh, about how about how my corner lights are like garbage. And he hit me up and he's like, hey, I have a set of corner lights I'm going to send you out. And these are actually the clear corner lights. You know what I'm saying? Now I did already order a set. I ordered a set of corner lights and I also ordered bumper lights because I need both and I ordered them in amber. So um, I, I'm more than likely going to be running the amber, but I mean if you guys want to check it out because this, this corner light is kind of decent. You see that's the amber. I mean you kind of get an idea, you know, with the color of the car. And then here is the clear. In which I'm not completely against the clear. I don't think it looks horrible. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think it's kind of cool to have the the option to just switch out. You know, I'm probably gonna put the amber on, but we're gonna smoke them a little bit because the ones I ordered are just like this. So we're gonna do a little bit of that tinted clear over them. But if I ever want to just switch it out, you know, just to get a little bit of a different look, or even um, I'm thinking about maybe putting these on the sedan because the sedan out there still has the USDM ones. That's you know, half and half. You already know how I feel about those. Shout out to you, James. Thanks, brother. I most certainly appreciate it, man. And now this is my fuel pump relay kit. It's just a wiring kit for the fuel pump. I ordered that just to make it easy. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, these are my hood pins. All right, so I did get the arrow catch hood pins. Now we are gonna have to cut the carbon fiber hood. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't gonna be happy about that, but it's gonna happen, dude, because race car. Um, most certainly gonna have to run hood pins. And I mentioned this before in another video, it's because I deleted all of the stuff for the hood latch. And now we even replace this piece to where there's no possibility to have a hood latch. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna be putting in hood pins and I got the arrow catch because, I mean, everybody gets the arrow catch, right? I don't know, they're just more of a flush, clean look. And I went ahead and got the ones that don't have the lock because really, I, I don't need a lock, dude. This car is never gonna be in a position where I'm gonna have to lock the hood. Now these ones, for instance, I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I bought these for the rear hatch. And, Cause I need to figure out a way that we're gonna be able to keep this hatch shut. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to put those like somewhere in this area. I don't know, like right there. I don't know, we'll mess with it later. Next. All right, so I have no idea why it is that this came with a set of gloves, bro. That tripped me out. 
But it, it, these are the little brackets for it, and it's designed to be mounted with this uh, like hose clamp. But I think I'm gonna figure out a different uh, mounting method. But what this right here is is a um, radiator overflow. It's just simple, you know what I'm saying? Simple black. It's aluminum. It's just an overflow, and I'm gonna end up mounting this like something like that, you know, just. Cause I, I need an overflow tank to run to my radiator. And then this is just a bag of zip ties, bro, because I needed zip ties, you know what I'm saying? And this one is my catch can, dude. Um, it is baffled inside, did come with a filter, and these are dash 10 fittings on it, and it's got the bracket welded on already. I think the top of this thing is chrome, dude, and if it is, yeah, the top of this thing is like a chrome. I'm gonna have to mask that off and paint that, dude. That's not gonna fly. I think I'm probably just gonna mount it like right here in the engine bay. That's what leads us to this last box right here, which is the Dash 10 line, dude, and all the fittings. Now with this, I also got these little clamps right here. So whenever we run the two fittings off of the catch can, I got these little clamps that we can kind of clamp the hoses together and keep them nice and nice and tidy you know make it look all nice and clean that's gonna be sick bro oh my god that's gonna be badass they're probably gonna have to be positioned more something like this something like that so it clears whenever there's an intake in the car but yeah dude that's gonna be sweet but yeah dude that is everything that's gloss black, and this actually came a satin black. Anyhow, there's one more thing that I bought that I saw on Facebook Marketplace a while ago. And honestly, I wanted to make a set myself for the Khaki Civic. And, I mean, given the fact that we're on a time crunch, figured I'd save myself the time and happen to make them. Though I, I think that I am going to end up making some in the future just so I can share with you guys how to do it yourselves. Anyhow. I'm getting sidetracked. So I went looking for him. I was like, I know he had a set for sale. And then I found him. And I hit him up. And he still had him. So once again, Paco, if you're watching this, thank you, brother. I most certainly appreciate it because he gave me a really good deal on him. Set of freaking YCP EF side skirts, aluminum side skirts. Dude, these things look so freaking clean. Like I already, I already kind of held it up on the car, and oh my god, bro! Like it, uh, it just fits. It fits the car perfect, man. But check out the hardware, even. Gosh, dude, this this is so sick. Freaking these big ass silver bolts. I mean, tell me that that's not the Khaki Civic. You know what I'm saying? I am most certainly excited to install these. Um, it's gonna be a little while before we can because we gotta finish all the fuel. Uh, we gotta get the, we gotta finish all the fuel lines and, and mounting the fuel cell and pump. We gotta finish all that stuff before I can put the fenders back on. And the fenders have to go on before um, before we can mount these damn side skirts, but may as well put the fuel cell out here too, just to show it off, man. I freaking love this thing. It's so beautiful. It's gonna look amazing in there. Anyhow, guys, it's getting really late. Just I I just really wanted to show you guys all this stuff. I didn't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? So um, I hope you guys like the video. We most certainly have a whole lot to do this weekend. You know what I mean? The most certain be looking forward to that Monday video bro because I'm telling you my plan is to tackle everything I just I want to do everything you know what I mean uh, my cousin's coming over tomorrow to get the wiring finished up I don't know if I'm gonna record it or not I might just go ahead and show you guys the finished product you know what I'm saying so uh, most certainly smash that like button you guys please hit the like button it helps me out tremendously don't forget to grab yourself some merch if it wasn't for you guys buying merch i mean i know there's the giveaway i mean that's definitely a plus you know what i'm saying you guys are entering for a chance to win the drill or the ef parts i'm not going to go through the whole freaking nine yards you guys have heard me say it enough but um, not only are you possibly could win but 
you're also helping the channel out you know what i'm saying if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be able to get all this stuff and dude this is just the little stuff this is just the little stuff the really cool shit it's still on its way it hasn't even got here yet but it's supposed to be here friday and i most certainly am excited for that i think the only thing that i have left to order now is i need to get the fittings to actually connect to the fuel rail i need to figure out how to connect an AN line to this. I don't know if this bar fitting comes off, um, but if it does, I need to figure out how and I need to get whatever it is I need in order to put my AN fitting on there. Um, I still need to get fuel injectors and then fuel filters. I wanna get a pre-filter before the pump and then I wanna get uh, a finer filter after the pump that's before the injectors because I, I don't know, through my research, I guess that's how it is that you're supposed to run them. And other than that, dude, oh, I need seat belts. Yeah, I definitely need harnesses. That's another big thing, but um, we're almost there, guys. Almost freaking there. Like I, I could, oh my God, I could feel it. It is coming together. So most certainly be hyped, man. I am definitely excited for this weekend. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. <laughs>